we've got our we've got our game tree, and I want you to look at the top part of the uh, what we're going to call a sub game of this tree. Uh, this top part is, if you like, if you ignore the rest of the game except what's in the blue shading, it's just a simple game which is really a decision for the blue player. Okay, the blue player can either enter or not enter. So we're either at this going along this branch or not this branch. Now the way that we get to that node is by the red player investing. Okay, we're not going to get to node B1 where the blue player is going to make that kind of choice unless the red player actually does invest. But in thinking about the game, we can imagine, well, what if we did get to node B1? What would the blue player do? Well, the blue player looks at their payoffs. Now, notice in that sub-game that there isn't much conflict, okay? because they both agree the top is bad, 1-1, one, one, and the bottom one is good, 3-3. Three, three. Okay, and they actually put the, the same preference rank. So they're, if you like, on those pair of alternatives, both of the players are in complete agreement. There's no conflict between them. But we're still going to look at it from the perspective of just the blue player, and that's why I've circled uh, the blue player's payoffs. Higher numbers mean more preferred rank. If you like, you can think of one as a word, which is the worst. This is the worst outcome. Okay, if the red player invests and I enter, why is it really bad? Well, there's a big story in the black box back there, but we're just taking the numbers, which says that's the worst. Okay, three is better than one. Higher ranked alternatives are better. So what we would do is we're going to put a little stroke through that branch. We're called pruning the, the tree. So the idea is we're going to have a game tree, and to figure out what's going to happen, we're going to prune the tree. That is, we're going to cut off some branches. Now, we're not literally cutting off the branches. We're cutting them off in our head. We're thinking that they're not going to be there. They are there, but we're not going to expect them to be played. And so why, is, why, would, why wouldn't we expect the top branch to be played? Because if the blue player gets to node B1, and if they did decide to enter, they would get the worst outcome. Why would they do that? It wouldn't be a rational thing to do. Right? Now, they might be irrational players, but remember, the theory is that we're, we're imagining people know what their payoffs are, that they're intelligent, they're rational, and they, they will do things which will promote their own interests. So, at this stage, uh, we would expect a blue player to not enter. With me there? Okay. Let's go to the... Uh, to the next stage of the analysis, where I want to look at another subgame. You can just see it here, the subgame from B2. Okay. Now, notice what I've done is I, I've, I've kept the pruning up here at the other subgame and say, well, we're just ex not expecting that to happen. Okay. So let's go down to this uh, node B2. What do we expect to happen here? Well, look at the blue playoffs. Four is better than two. Right? The, if we have a history of the play for the red player to not invest, that takes us to node B2, then we, we look at uh, the payoffs to the blue player. The best option is to enter if the other guy doesn't invest. So let's prune the not invest branch. Okay? So by pruning it means we don't expect it to happen. Now, it might happen for all kinds of reasons. The guy's irrational, there's some chance elements, something like that. But in this particular game, there aren't any chance elements. We're assuming people aren't irrational. That is, they will tend to act in ways that promote their best interests. And so we would expect the, uh, to prune this branch. We don't expect it to happen. Okay, let's go to the third stage. Now we've done, we've done two bits of pruning. Let's just stop and see where we are, okay? What we've done is we've, we've gone to two sub-games. Now, this is called rollback reasoning because what we've done is we've gone out to the end of the game. We actually haven't asked, what's the red player going to do? What we've done is asked, what's the blue player going to do if we get to node B1? What's the blue player going to do if we get to node B2? And generally, the idea is, instead of starting at the beginning of the game, you start at the end of the game. Okay? And one reason you can start at the end of the game is it's, it's kind of easy to analyze this little sub-game because it's really just a choice by the blue player. It's kind of easy to analyze this little sub-game because it's just a choice by the blue player. Now, we figured out what the blue player is going to do, which is what Van 
and I were chatting about, right, Ben? The, I, for, when I first went to Ben, he was writing just a single thing down like you guys did. But I asked him to think about the second question, not just what you're going to do, what you think the other guy's going to do. And he says, well, but if I invest, he's going to do this. Well, you know, like what you had, if I invested, he was going to choose not enter, right? Fine. Just have to go a little bit further to think, well, he doesn't, so far, we're just asking, what's he thinking? Well, he's going to be thinking that, well, if you did not invest, then um, his... Uh, what would his best choice be? That would be to enter, and so we prune that branch. And so now you can kind of look at the game in a different way. You can say, I do not know what the blue player is going to do, but I can think about it, and I would not expect him to play the top branch, and I would not expect him to play the bottom branch. Therefore, the game has kind of changed from my perspective. The game looks something like this. Okay, so I've wrapped these, um, I mean, it's the same game, it's just that now you shape the game by your thinking to eliminate this branch and to eliminate that branch. By eliminate, we mean I just don't expect it to happen. It might happen, okay? But now if you look here, the red player, having thought about what the blue player is going to do, and the blue player, having thought about what they rationally should do if the red player did some certain things, um, should both be agreeing on this, and they come back, and now these guys, the blue player, has to think about what's the red player going to do. Well, they're sort of thinking, well, the red player would be looking at it like this. They would be expecting me to do these other things that I've got, uh, <clears throat> we've got pruned out. And so now we're both thinking about what's the red player going to do. Well, if red player invests, the blue player is going to not enter, and that's going to be a payoff of three and three. Okay? If the red player does not invest, the blue player is going to enter, and that's going to be a payoff of two and four. So the relevant comparison here for the red player is between three and two. Okay? It, and the idea is, why is it relevant? Well, I mean, anything could happen. Like Anna's reasoning was, was really, a, I mean, a, a very good um, kind of first cut. It's like, I don't want the worst outcome. So I can avoid that by choosing to not invest. Right? And that was, I mean, it's a sensible thing to do. On the other hand, is the worst outcome ever going to occur? So you go back to Annis, what we did is we said, we don't expect the worst outcome to occur, because even if I did invest, though it's possible that, that the other player would choose to enter and we both get bad outcomes, it's not in their interest to do that. So that's the difference between a possibility, oh, the worst thing is going to happen, versus, well, yeah, it could happen, but, you know, it might, it probably won't, because it's not in the interest of the guy. I mean, every, how many people have flown on a plane? Lots of people have flown on a plane, okay? You're coming in for the landing. Are you controlling the flight controls? I mean, we just put our hands in, the, in, in uh, our lives in the hands of the pilot. It's in his interest to get us down because it's in his interest to get himself down safely. You don't ever think about Well, if you start to think about that, you won't be flying, okay? Uh, you might even, when you drive, it's the same thing. You know, if you see people coming in the road, it's in their interest to stay in that, you know, whatever side of the road they're on. You know, I was going to say left or right, but I'm from North America. Hey, I'm ambidextrous. I sometimes I go on the left and sometimes I go on the right. You just, you don't want to meet me in the road. Um, the, I mean, we, we trust the other people to, uh, we trust, we expect them to do things in their interest, which are not to go on our side of the road and crash into us. Okay? And that's kind of the thing that we're doing here is, Anna was right to think, I want to avoid the worst outcome. But if you think about it a little deeper, you can say, well, the worst outcome isn't the thing I would expect to happen if I invest. What I would expect to happen if I invest is for the blue player not to enter, and then we get our third best alternative. Okay, Anna, have I convinced you?